In today's unboxing, we take a look at Lost Kingdoms, an expansion for Monumental. Let's take a look. There are hobbyists among us, geniuses with the ability to play any game they want to. In 1978, a corporation known as The Interior isolated a young hobbyist named John and exploited his genius for their entertainment. Then one day, their hobbyist ran away. Here we have Lost Kingdoms, an expansion for Monumental. Uh, as it says here on the box, it is a civilization box. This adds, I believe, four more, four new civilizations. With this, I also have the tokens for Lost Kingdoms. Now, these are only the unit tokens, uh, so I don't know if there's anything else in here, uh, you know, in this expansion, like monsters or heroes or anything, uh, but here there is, there is just the uh, uh, units, but at least we'll be able to take a look at this. So, doesn't matter which version of the game you got, uh, you should be able to see both here. And as you can see, I was always already kind of popping some of these guys back in. Uh, these tokens are made very nicely. They pop in and out extremely easily. You should have no problem with these, no damage. That is something that I absolutely love. Let's go ahead and flip this over. Take a look at the back. And in the back, there is nothing. It's a very clean back. Uh, kind of to be expected from some of these Kickstarter exclusive games. Uh, being that this isn't meant to be put on a shelf, they don't really need to sell themselves. Very cool. Let's go ahead and crack this guy open. Take a look inside. So up first we have our rule book and some tokens for that. Yep, looks like there are some new wonders in here. The miniatures. And then some new tiles, cards. Very nice. Little slots to put all the tokens in. That is something that I really like. Uh, where these game trays, you can tell, were designed uh, for either way. Very cool. Let's start here with this material Let's see what we got it looks like yep looks like it's a nice easy open all right so up first we have the new area tokens so of course since you're adding in a potential extra player they they are giving us some extra uh, resource tokens and some new wonders Golden Gate Bridge and Panama Canal, that's cool and then the new rule book Now this print is so small. Let's see here. We can zoom in a little bit. Try to get a better look at this. I mean, the rule book is nice. I mean, it's, it's kind of laid out nice and you know, lots of good art here, but this print is so small. I'm actually kind of surprised. Well, maybe this, okay, maybe they're just talking about the individuals. Mm. Weird. Here's our new Aztecs. Amazons. Mongols. Yeah. 
and the Atlanteans. Very cool. Now these uh, locations, I'll save that to the end. Just because I don't think there's anything too spoiler about it, but just in case we will save that for there. So up next we have the uh, figures, or the, the units in token form. Since we're looking at this stuff, let's just continue the trend. Pop you back in. All right. Up first we have the main characters. Then we have the explorers. Some extra towers. And then all of the uh, soldier units, they are all the same. Very cool. And here we have all the miniatures for the game. Now, of course, the glare on here is pretty bad, but I did want to show it to you here uh, so you can see that it does have this lid. That is something that I really do like. And not only that, but it's got these little latches on here so the lid goes down, stays down nice and tight and keeps everything in. And we got some more tape that I didn't notice. Let's see, we're gonna have some over here too. They tape the heck out of this one. Four pieces. All right, let's take a look at you. All right, so now it looks like we have our hero characters. Now, some of these guys are pretty big. That is crazy. Let me see here. See, this is the one thing that's always kind of worried me about the game, that once you get a bunch of things, a bunch of characters on these little uh, tiles that they could start taking up a lot of room. Oh well. Okay, so it looks like we have our explorers, our different soldiers, our extra towers, and then of course again our heroes. So let's go ahead and take a look. We'll start with the big heroes. This must be the Atlantean one. Very cool. And his detail, I mean, it's just fantastic. Not seeing a whole bunch of mold lines. There's a little, maybe a little there. Nice and straight, very nice. Our Amazonian. What was this, Montezuma, I think? And that big one we looked at kind of first. He is absolutely huge. Then we have our different explorers. Now, I don't remember if on the base the explorers had square bases or not. I don't remember.
And these towers, I do believe, are the same from the base game. We just get some extras. And then our different soldiers. And here we have all of the rest of the components for the game. Uh, now, not only does this add those four civilizations, but we can see it does add an additional player to the game. Uh, so we got the extra um, wonder tokens, because when you do the wonder, uh, you do build them in two stages, and you can only be working on one at a time. So we have the wonder chips, and then we have the rings for the new civilization. Then we have some new land tiles. They all have this same back. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. So here is the new uh, new new players you know, starting location. It's the same as all others within the core. Oops. gorgeous I just do not want to pick these up do I it's because of the way that they have these designs so they kind of so they fit together but they also kind of have that national uh, natural uh, curve to them so I keep wanting to, to grab it and keep slipping out of my hand oh that's I like that a lot very cool all right, so next we will look at the rest of the rule book and take a look at these cards. I don't think there's anything too spoiler in there, but just in case I do try to leave that kind of stuff separate. If you do decide to stop that you do not want to see the cards or the rest of the rule book where they go over the different map builds, the different scenarios, uh, I hope this unboxing of Lost Kingdoms has helped you to determine if this is something you might want to try to find on the third market. This was a Kickstarter exclusive, so it would probably be a little more difficult, uh, but uh, if you can, it you know having this much added content to a game is definitely something recommended. Uh, an additional player plus four additional kingdoms is absolutely huge. It adds tons of replay to the game. And here we have the different scenarios for this expansion. Now it is going to be a little darker now because I did back off some of my lights to try to get rid of some of the glare, so we can actually take a good look at it. Um, but two player level one. And this is interesting. I like where they've, you know, how they've changed this up. Uh, so you're basically right on top of each other. Uh, so where you go, it's, uh, you know, I like so the, these new tile designs, map designs. And then a level two. Level three. And then our three player level one. Player level two. And three player level three. This looks really, I like that. That's, that's a nice little design. And then on to four player. Level two. And then level three. And then this should be our five player, yep. So here he is, so adding that fifth player, 
that you can do now that we have this expansion. Very cool. Level two. And level three. Very cool. Here we have all the cards for the game. One thing that is nice is they did give uh, the reference card in the base game. They gave one for every player. So here in this expansion that they have added the fifth player expansion, they have also added a fifth player reference card. That is so awesome that they were uh, kind enough, smart enough to do that. Up next, we have our Automa deck add-ons. Uh, there are two sets here for the Automa. We have a civilization card because you're going to put one of these in uh, for the civilization that you've chosen for your Automa deck. The only thing that this game really did, didn't do that I really wish it did was give extra Automa decks. They gave you one. Uh, I would have loved to have had you know, two, three, four, five Automa decks, or at least the ability to purchase additional Automa decks uh, so you can have multiple uh, AI players. Here we have the one for each civilization and then the new Automa cards. I believe they're all the same. Very cool. Then we have the uh, the cards for each uh, civilization. Each one's gonna have their own back. I believe this is gonna be Amazon. Up first we have our uh, main character. Then we have the Atlanteans, I believe. I don't remember what all of them are. I won't be able to name them all, but those two at least I can remember because it always makes me think uh, Aquaman and Wonder Woman. And you can still see here within this, at least I can, that uh, that texture that all of these cards have. I really do like that tsunami. That's that's great. Seawall. And then, what's our next? So, Montezuma. Oh, that's so cool looking. I just love the art that they have done with this. And our fourth. way there we go and then we have the wonders now all of the rest of the cards that we look at will all have the same back so I probably won't show it again um, but then we have our wonders and the only thing that I'm not seeing is where it'll say, is where it should say what, uh, maybe just that one is supposed to be it. It's age one, and then age two, and then a couple for an age, age three, yeah, that must be where they did it. Now here again, you can see, you know, because you're doing the two parts, which is why they given those extra two cubes uh, for that fifth player. Then we have the new uh, knowledge cards. Yeah. And finally, all of the new building cards.
man, this expansion almost has enough. If they would have made it a a six player, a five six player expansion, you could have almost gotten this one just for a uh, two player game. Or a one player Automa game. Now, I don't know if you can hear that. Just again, where you can just hear as I'm sliding the cards, just with that textured feel to it. Let's see. Let's see, I don't know if you could hear that. Love it though. Well, that is everything for Lost Kingdoms, an expansion for Monumental. I hope this unboxing has helped you to determine if this is something you might want to try to look into getting. Again, this was a Kickstarter exclusive game, so it might be a little on the more difficult side to find. Uh, but if you can, I do recommend it. I do like this game a good bit. Uh, I like the way it plays out. I like the four aspects to it. And this one adding the fifth player. But more importantly, those four additional civilizations adds tons of replayability to this game. Well, until next time, guys, I'll see you later.